am Chris Kenner and welcome to the one-on-one -on -one for Fancy Band, also known as the Boomerang Rubber Band. Uh, Bandalicious, uh, Bantastic, Bandomatic, Bandy Bandy Bandy, Bandle, do, Bandy Band, Bandle, Band. Those are the common names it goes by. So basically what this is, is you take a rubber band, a small rubber band, you wrap it around your fingers, and you usually do this as a challenge. You tell somebody, I'm gonna take this rubber band, I'm gonna shoot it out, it's gonna land 15 feet from me, and roll back to my feet. And then they all go, no, 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 impossible. There's no way you can do that. And then you proceed to do exactly what you said. Take a rubber band, shoot it out, lands 15 feet, and it rolls back on its edge to your feet. So, let's show you what it looks like. So here's a brief history for Fancy Band, or Boomerang Rubber Band. So uh, I was originally shown this, um, I was uh, pretty young, uh, it was probably 1985, 1986. Uh, Dan Garrett and a gentleman named Paul Spinagle from Atlanta, both of them are from Atlanta, showed me this. And Paul, Paul was awesome. Paul, Paul's actually an awesome magician if you uh, never heard of him. I think he's an actual real and a performer, so a lot of people may have never heard of him. But Paul, everything he does is great. Um, they showed me this many, many years ago and taught it to me. Um, it's been in print in many places. Uh, it was in Omni Magazine. I think Michael Weber put it in Omni Magazine. There's a story in the magazine about Vernon and I'm looking for this infamous guy that could do this boomerang rubber band trick. Uh, Dan Harlan, I think, had it in volume three of his rubber band magic. And it's been in quite a few places. You could probably search the internet. I'm sure it's all over the place to really find. Uh, but here's a pretty much a description of what we do. And I, I actually added a few few tips and a few things that make it make it a little easier. So here you go, here's how it works. Uh, first off, you need, um, this is a 16 rubber band, a number 16, and as you see, it's already it's already round. It's a round rubber band, it's a real uh, real band, real rubber rubber band, and I got this from Office Depot. It's no really fa fancy band, <laughs> but it does a fancy stuff, the fancy band, fancy band. Uh, now, if you get a rubber band that's shaped like this, it already has this pre, you know, it's already like it, that's its natural shape, that will not work. It must be round like this. Now, again, this is a size 16. A size 14 will also work, but um, I like the size 16. It seems to fit my hand better. So, one thing that I want to tell you first off is you're going to have your hand open as wide as you can when you do this. And when you do do this, it's going to be a little, uh, it may feel a little awkward and it may want to pull your hand in because you're not used to using your muscles this way, but that's just natural if that happens. So here's what you do. You need a little bit of fingernail um, and I put it on my right hand. So the very first thing I do is I put it on the thumb of my right hand and I pull down. I actually open it up with my second finger, so my second and my first finger kind of open the band up. And now I take my pinky and I put it right there, right under the rubber band, right under the uh, nail. So as you can see, it's right there under the nail. Now, what I'm gonna do is, because I'm gonna have to get backspin in a moment, I pull it as tight as I can, and I open my hand as wide as I can, and I wrap it around my thumb in the nail, just like that. So both the pinky and the thumb are in the fingernail. And as you can see, when I wrapped it around and pulled it, that left the bottom band really tight, and this one's a little looser, because I've got all the pressure I can on the bottom. Now, you wanna go underneath, grab the band, pull it down, and I pull it as tight as I can pull it. So now it's really tight right here. So I'm pulling as tight as I can this way. I'm not worried about how, how much tension is here. So I pull down, now I take my forefinger and I push as far and as hard as I can till these rubber bands meet. Now I move forward and I release. So what you have is, this is tight, this is tight, this is tight, and this is loose. And that's it, that's all you've gotta do. So when you release it from your thumb, it's going to cause backspin, so it's going to spin like this, and when it hits the ground, it will roll back towards you. So here's what you do. You just push down as hard as you can with your forefinger. So I'm pushing, and again, I'm keeping this all pretty straight. That makes it, allows me to aim it. Um, and I'm going to flick it off my thumb. Now, the way it's, the direction it's going to go, it's pretty much in line. If I could take and put a ruler from here to here, like a point from here to here, 
that would point to where it's going to fly. So you can kind of use that as a gauge to um, aim it. So now all you do is push down with your forefinger and you flick up with your thumb and just relax your thumb a little bit and it flicks off. Now as you see I didn't snap my wrist or move my hand at all, I just held my hand still and released my thumb as I let go. So I'll do it again, this time I'll set it up in regular speed, puts under the thumbnail, fingernail, then under the thumbnail, that's tight, pull down, that's tight, that's tight, that's tight, that's tight. Again, pressure down as I flick it off my thumb. So here's what the uh, setup looks like close up. And now again, you're gonna start off by putting it underneath your pinky nail. So to do that, I like to tighten it or stretch it really tight. So that this band is stretched, get it underneath your pinky nail. Now you open your pinky as wide as you can. Now as you see, I've pulled this band back as tight as I can so the lower band is stretched as tight as it can be. Now my thumb, wraps it around my thumb, it's actually wrapped right around the nail. So I'm like this, this is tight, and this is as loose as it is, can be, so it actually still got a little pressure, but it's not very tight. Now you're gonna reach underneath and with your forefinger and grab that upper band and pull it down. What you're doing is you're pulling down so that this back edge is pulled as tight as you can get it. So now you're gonna push down right here with your forefinger, that touches this band, go forward so you can still keep that pressure and you release. So what you've got is this is tight, this is tight, the lower one's tight, and that upper one's loose. So that's where you are. Now to release this, now this is going to feel very awkward when you first do it. This pinky muscle is going to be like, ah! So now to release it, what you do is you push down as hard as you can with your fore forefinger, so I'm pushing pressure down, and I'm going to release up my thumb. And that's going to take that rubber band and make it go flip around and get a uh, reverse spin on it. So you're gonna push down, so here's what it looks like when it releases. I push, 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 snap it off the band. Now as you can see, I didn't go wham, I didn't do anything too crazy with my hand, I just held it still, and then all you need to do is make sure you're pointed in the correct direction. So again, just keep your hand still, and just the, all the pressure that you can, pushing down with your forefinger, and your thumb just comes up and snaps it off. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the only thing you have to do is experiment a little bit with how you shoot it and how far it goes, how it flicks off your finger. Everybody be, will be just a little bit different, so just kind of experiment with that. Um, uh, really kind of cool story, when I was shown this, it was originally uh, my friend Paul, Paul Spinagel. He did something pretty cool with it. He could take the rubber band, and I expect to see people do this on YouTube. Uh, he would take the rubber band, and he would shoot it out, and it would hit the floor, and it would roll back towards him, he would put his hand on the ground, and it would roll up his arm. He would take his other hand, and he would open up his shirt pocket. It would bounce off his shoulder into a shirt pocket. Uh, at least that's what he told me he could do. I'm not really sure. I can't remember if I actually saw him do it, or if uh, he told me he did it, and I remember him doing it. But uh, that's the goal. I expect to see that. So all you guys out there, somebody on YouTube, send me a link of them having it roll up their arm and into their shirt pocket, so I can at least say I've seen it done. Um, well, that's it. That is the fancy band or boomerang rubber band. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time.